So let's go ahead and kick off Loser's Quarters. Mad Rush on a Mad Rush indeed through this Loser's Bracket. But can he get past GVS Fire Blaster? Yeah, he really is. I mean, he this guy's improved a lot to be where he's at. So I think Fire Blaster definitely the favorite. Um, but we'll see if Mad Rush can pull the upset. And we'll check out this matchup right now. Um, Mad Rush playing that Red Falcon. And uh, Fire Blaster is going to be playing the, uh, the ocean. And Mad Rush opens this with just like a platform drop up air. So you see he's got his fingers feeling good, his technical skills good. Oh, and this is the combo we were talking about. Actually, it's not. He ends up trying something different. And Mad Rush, I think, sort of just falls to his death. Yeah, he, he must have lost his jump and not recognized it. Uh, very unfortunate start. Fire Blaster not really missing the beat there. I love that quick nair. Another one. Ooh. Oh, just barely misspaces that back there. Let's see if Mad Rush can finish this off. Wow. And I don't think he had a jump there. I think Mad Rush, all he had to do is throw out a dash attack or something. I don't know if he recognized it. I thought he did by using a Nair instead of an up B. Ooh, Ooh the slow getup. I think the fact that uh, Yoshi was at such a higher percentage because of that the getup was a little bit extended might have thrown off Mad Rush. I mean, at a lower percent, that up B might have caught him. But yeah. either way, able to close out this talk there. 89% right now on Mad Rush. But it's looking like Fire Blaster could take this talk if it wasn't for that great weaving that we saw from Mad Rush previously. Wow, but that back air looks... It's nice to follow up. So Fire Blaster one stock ahead here. So what's Madrush looking for here whenever he's trying to approach? You know, obviously you can't do standard approaches against a player of Fire Blaster's caliber. Yeah, and, and you have to be careful looking for a grab when Fire Blaster lands because he's going to parry them. Look at that stock. Two F tilts into that uh, runoff forward air. It all got set up by that, that falling near that we saw. You know? If you can pull Fire Blaster out of a DJC, um, with your up smash, then you just have to look to horizontal combo him off the stage because he's not going to have a jump anymore. Well, Mad Rush there was able to get the grab because he picked up on the Nair habits of Fire Blaster. And that extra Nair was just a touch too much. <laughs> he's going to be throwing away that stock. I, I think that this is still doable. I, I really do, but yeah, it, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be tough because of some of the options that we're seeing from Fire Blaster. Even that edge shield that we saw up there. You know, you, you see a Yoshi and a shield, and you're thinking, okay, this is my time to attack. But it pushed off Fire Blaster and actually set up for the opportunity, which resulted in a stock loss for Mad Rush. Yeah, and that's something this is going to be a stock. And that, that's a beautiful uh, nair into that F, F air. But that's something Fire Blaster actually is a real proponent of, is... Uh, when you're doing shield pressure, you have to be very aware. Like, you don't want to just push someone off with a strong aerial um, and give them the advantage. Oftentimes, when you're shielding, that's like the one time you have the advantage if you get hit with an aerial and pushed off. And that's really nice, that forward air into the grab, double back air. Let's see if you can get an edge guard here. Ooh, right. He's trying to go for a multi-hitting move. That's why we saw the up tilt, but it wasn't enough. Fire yeah. Blaster, 105%, but still definitely a threat. Parry's one option, but wasn't able to parry the set of jabs, and that up B is going to be enough to go ahead and take the stock. Yeah, and it, that's exactly right. He tried that multi-hit up tilt, and that was really nice by Mad Rush, though, at the end there. He pins him in the shield with that down air, and instead of adding more shield pressure with another aerial, he just takes the option that's there, the best option with what, that up B. What a parry oh, for Fire Blaster. Huge. And look at that payoff, Jimmy Joe. That was excellent. So it's anybody's game here. Four stocks apiece. Mad Rush, really, both of these players kind of uh, hesitant to approach here. And he opts to go for like a more horizontal combo there. Oh, wow. and it pays off. And we see what he was thinking. He got him up onto the platform and leads himself into an F air. That was great too, and just the just the choices and moves. Uh oh, there it from, is from from Fire Blaster. Right, he's so aware of what moves give him the most coverage, especially on those platforms, and I think that's allowing him to tech chase really well whenever he has Mad Rush trapped. Yes, and you know we did just see a technical error from Fire Blaster. He got those two F tilts, and he went wanted to do a runoff F air, but he uh, wasn't off the platform before he pushed A, and he did a dash attack. So that's certainly unfortunate. Mad Rush having a bit of a trouble here as Fire Blaster is able to weave around all these attacks. I love that placement of that egg. It was perfect. And Mad Rush is down to just two stocks now. There's the answer back with the back air, but overall it feels like the momentum of this game and the, and the pacing of it is really controlled by Fire Blaster. He's getting Ooh. all of the initial openings. He's able to capitalize off of them pretty consistently. Even and a there, great parry. Even yeah. when Mad Rush gets some options started. These parries and double jumps are making it so that it's really difficult for him to cash out these stocks. Oh, nice DJC parry of that too. Ooh, and he tries to do a little read there with that F smash. 
great shield drop into the up air. Maybe looking for a back air, and he's going to go ahead and connect it here. Madrush desperately trying to recover, but there's the egg to snipe away that stock from Madrush. Scrambles he's down him. to just one here. Oh, and that dash tag is parried, and this is trouble for Madrush. Kind of sense some of the desperation right now. Yes. And Fire Blaster is really capitalizing on this. Fire Blaster, uh... Oh, and he gets pushed off by the wind. Let's see, this egg might do it. Yep. That's just in a three stock for Fire Blaster. Mad Rush, he had a fantastic loser's bracket run, but it's going to be stopped right here. Yeah, and, you know, just like you said, he places those eggs so perfectly on Falcon's recovery. He really knows that matchup well. And that's like, you know, in my opinion, uh, it's not a bad matchup for Yoshi. A lot of people think it's in Falcon's favor, and they might be right. But you can just see when someone has more skill, like he's definitely a skill tier above Mad Rush. So in that scenario, it's not like the character can win you, you know, the match there. 